today, but the sun is shining, so to speak, on Stephanie Link because Expedia is surging today after beating estimates. Steph joins us now to weigh in. All right, so it's a great call you had. It's up nearly 15% today. Congrats. Uh, now what? Thanks. Oh, I'm going to hold on. I think this story has legs. First and foremost, the quarter was so much better than expected on a number of fronts. Revenues and EBITDA in particular. EBITDA is now up positive for the last two quarters, but the margins. The margins accelerated 19 points sequentially and beat expectations by 450 basis points. And this is really just block and tackling. Room night stays helped. ADR's pricing helped, and then cost cutting helped. And this is the definition of operating leverage. I talk about it all the time. Demand comes back, you got great margins and good cost controls, and this is what happens. They also are gaining share in Verbo, and it's important that they're gaining share because they're spending an enormous amount of money on this, and they're gaining share particularly in the U.S., which is pretty encouraging. But I think the real reason the stock is up, Scott, is really the commentary. Bookings accelerated from September to October. October is only 2% below 2019 levels. So travel is essentially back, if you will. All regions saw improvement, all products saw Im improvement, and travel type. So, and, and, and the interesting thing is their summer 22 bookings are higher than summer 21 bookings. So they've got great visibility. And I think the reason I want to stay on board is because I think this company, as demand comes back and the cost controls continue, they can generate $3 billion in EBITDA by 2023. I would not be surprised to see $3 billion in EBITDA in 2022. Yeah. But let's just wait and keep the expectations on the lower uh, side. I want to give people context, too, Steph, of, of when you actually did these transactions. You bought a small... A bit of stock in the summer of 2020, you know, a tough, a tough moment to, to jump into some of these names. Um, you added to it in July and then you added even more in September, early September. And I'm assuming this last month or two months ago uh, at around 142. Is that right for the context for people? Yeah, that's that's right. And and that's when a lot of CEOs got on uh, CNBC and said that demand was starting to pick up. So I was just listening. This was like Kayak and Expedia and Booking Holdings. And so I just kind of thought, well, if they're saying this, these, these stocks are much too low because the numbers are probably much too low. Steph, I appreciate it. Congrats. Enjoy the day. I know you will. Have a good weekend. We'll see you back next week.